हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हेल्प यू टू डिटरमाइन व्हाट ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम्स आर एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस द ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम ऑफ फास्फोरस वी नो दैट एवरी एटम व्हेन लुक्ड एट माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेवल हैज सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स नाउ ऑर्बिटल डायग्राम्स आर जस्ट अ वे ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अराउंड न्यूक्लियस इन अ पर्टिकुलर एटम एंड इन ऑर्डर टू फिगर आउट हाउ एंड वेयर दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स गो वी फॉलो थ्री मेन रूल्स let us see what this state the first rule is aufbau's principle that arranges orbitals in terms of their energy levels so down here we have one is sub level that has one orbital then comes to a sub level and so on so the electrons will go in one s orbital first and then move on to the orbitals having higher energy now the second rule is hund's rule that explains the arrangement of electrons in a orbital of sub level well electrons tends to tend to be as far as possible from each other so as to minimize the repulsion so if there is a case where there are empty orbitals available in any sub level then instead of pairing they will choose to be arranged separately now that makes sense why this arrangement is more stable than this one the third and last last rule is pauli's exclusion principle that states the arrangement of two electrons in any orbital it states that there can be maximum of two electrons in an orbital and that two should have opposite spin no two electrons with same spin can occupy a single orbital as shown here that is incorrect now that we have discussed the basics that we should know for orbital diagrams let us move ahead and draw one for phosphorus now phosphorus is a p block element and has an atomic number of 15 that means that it has 15 protons and 15 electrons now that we know the number of electrons it is easy for us to write its electronic configuration it will be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p3 if you add up the, if you add up the numbers here you will get the value of 15 now let us arrange the electrons in its orbital now s can hold maximum of two electrons so we will place two electrons with opposite spin same we will do with 2s next comes 2p then 3s we are left with three more electrons and based on the hunt's rule we know how the three electrons will be arranged in 3p so there you have it this is the orbital diagram of phosphorus for more such videos make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching